all right guys what's up alfonso here in this video i'll be analyzing the chart of gold xau usd for monday today 26th feb to first march of 2024 if you are watching this video you may subscribe to this channel for regular market analysis and forex education also like this video and leave a comment on what pairs you like me to cover and also what you want me to cover in forex trading so my friends right here is the chart of gold on the daily time frame let us do a top down analysis so as you can see gold is in a downtrend channel this is a trend line this is a trend line so my friends right here is the chart of gold on a daily time frame as you can see gold is on a bearish channel forming lower highs and lower lows this is what gold is forming on a daily time frame it's forming lower low lower high lower low lower high so there is a possibility that the market will react to this trend line to the downside that way or there is another possibility that it will break this trend line come for a retest then go to the upside always prioritize analyzing the market on a higher time frame before you can go to the lower time frame and make your further analysis so this is the market of gold on a daily time frame let us continue and go to the four hour time frame so as you can see gold is trending to the upside gold is trending to the upside as you can see so this is the four hour time frame i know it is still aligned with the one hour time frame as you can see gold is trending to the upside let me come back to the four hour time frame right here so guys i can see there was a reaction there was a reaction at this point there was a bearish reaction at this point there was a bearish reaction at this point so there is a resistance at this point gold reacted to it and went to the downside a bit showed some weakness so if gold breaks this level so that is a possibility that we can expect let us look at the market sentiment what the dollar index is doing uh, the dollar index which is called dxy tells us the strength of the dollar and as we can see the chart of the dollar index right here things are not positive for the dollar the dollar is weakening there is a bearish sharp bearish reaction to the downside yes we were on an uptrend right here we were on an uptrend right here this trend line that i've drawn right now has been broken by the dollar index so we can say that the dollar index is trending to the downside and also there was a resistance at some point right here this resistance was broken right here and it acted as support and price went to the upside price broke this structural high bos break of structure and went to the upside the main story here is the u.s government bond was falling sharply that is why this might have happened also we can see that there is a transition in the dollar index the dollar index broke the previous low there is a change of character broke the previous low and failed to break this previous high right here so we can change we can change our mindset that the dollar index is now trending to the downside so the dollar index is weakening so if the dollar index is weaker gold tends to buy if the dollar index want to continue the upside it will have to break this zone but as at now as you can see the dollar index is showing a bearish reaction to the downside so the dollar is weaker let me take you back to the chart of gold so this is the chart of gold we've seen that currently gold is trending to the upside currently gold is trending to the upside and there was a reaction at this point this is a resistance zone on a monday market tends to move so slow and there's no much momentum and i always encourage no trading on monday we can see a break of this structural high a break of this structural high right here and on a friday when the market was closing there was a big bullish momentum to the upside we didn't expect that yeah so this surprised many we didn't expect that strong bullish momentum to the upside yeah we know that gold tend to react positive there is geopolitical wars financial crisis people tend to buy gold gold might be forming higher high higher low as we know gold is currently trending to the upside but also keep in mind this point is a liquidity so gold might be grabbing all this liquidity and will continue to the downside break this trend line right here and continue to the downside uh, i want to 
give you points that you can consider points of interest i want to use the FIBO retracement as my first guide FIBO retracement from swing low to the swing high these are quite good support zone and also there was a support zone at this point right here there is a support zone at that point right here this is a support zone price reacted to it went up price came back reacted to it went up again yes price broke it but we can still consider it we, we will look for momentum if the market tends to come to this point we look for momentum and look for a buy so that is one point you can consider another point is this point gold reacted to it this point gold reacted to this point so this can be a support zone a demand zone uh, and also another point is this point right here this point right here this is a resistance zone this resistance right here is aligned with this order block this is an order block right here so gold might sell down to this order block and continue to the upside gold might sell down to this order block and continue to the upside so those are some of the expectation in the market but also my friends i can see an inverted heads and shoulder right here if you can see it you can let me know this is the left shoulder this is the left shoulder and this is the right shoulder right here as you can see so this is the neckline at this point this is the neckline this is the neckline let me remove this and show you so this is the neckline right here if price breaks this neckline and breaks this daily trend line and gives us a retest and breaks this high we can say gold is going to be uptrend anything can happen so gold is very volatile and knowing how to trade knowing when to trade and looking at the momentum of the market looking at the candlestick formation and the price action we are quite likely to take good trades if we follow different confluences and be confident on our analysis so that is it hopefully you got the picture that's all for now thank you there is no 100 percent guarantee in the forex market we are retail traders and we react to what we see happening in the market the behavior of the market thank you see you on another video